Miranda won the $2,000 mystery pin collection. Dizzy had everyone enter for a chance to win an opportunity to buy the $2,000 mystery pin collection and Miranda won. So we're gonna all get to open up this mystery pin collection and see what's inside. So here we are in the lobby. It is pretty much time to open up our mystery box. We are waiting on our friend Miranda. So this is all the information we have on this mystery blind lot. So it was $2,000 for 96 mystery pins, including 28 APs, six PPs, 19 limited edition APs, five limited edition PPs, 35 Five limited release APs and three limited release PPs. So uh, a whole lot of pins in there. I am so ready to open this up. <laughs> okay, the moment we've been waiting for is here. So we are currently in the lobby of Coronado Springs. The uh, a pin <laughs> event has just finished up. And we are about to open up the most expensive mystery box Disney has ever sold. All right, so this is this is the box here. Everyone wants to know what is inside. It's a disappointment. I know. We did. The only the only information I have on this box is that there is 96 pins. So the story behind this mystery box: we saw it at check-in day when we were able to preview all the RSP items, which included a lot of the frame sets, and this was the only mystery box. Disney's never offered a mystery box quite like this before. The only mystery boxes you could find from Disney are the packs of two or five you can find in the parks for like around $20. So $2,000, that is a whole nother level. We had to get these pins for our video. So yesterday when we were filling out our RSP forms, we put our names down for it. Today is the official day for the event. So RSPs were still open to put your name down if you were interested in anything on here. And what happens at the RSP is basically everyone who's interested in purchasing the mystery bag or any of the frame sets, you write your name down and then it goes into a lottery ticket system uh, where basically it goes into a raffle drawing as to who gets to win this pin lot. Uh, so we put our name down, but I wanted some higher odds. So we were hanging out with Shannon's friend, Miranda. We were hanging out with her. The cutoff for entering this raffle was at two o'clock and we were walking by the table at 159. So I was like, hey, Miranda, if you want to go put your name down and for on the off chance you win, I, I'll pay for the blind bag if you can just get if you can just get it for us that way we could open it up because we really wanted to show this on video because everybody in the event and was then she could see if she likes anything right everyone from the event really wanted to know what was hiding in there because Disney's never had done anything like this this was such a one-of-a-kind purchase she was like I I have really good luck. We'll see. I, maybe I'll get it. They announced the results at 4 o'clock and she got an email that she was the winner for the blind bag. So we had secured the blind bag to open up for the video. So anyways, let's go ahead and get back and open up this mystery box. This is about to be the Super Bowl finale of the, of the pin trading event this year. So I am really excited. I hope the box doesn't disappoint. It's really going to be sad if, it, <laughs> if there's nothing too crazy in there. But... Fingers are crossed, we can find something special. Okay. Anyway, we need to go get set up so we can get this started and unboxed. Who wants to do it? <laughs> okay, who is gonna do the honors? Like Let's unveil what is hiding inside. We've been waiting for this moment. So on the inside, we do know what's on the inside because they just boxed it up for us to carry, but this is the pin bag. This is gonna be the moment of truth to find out what is gonna be hiding in here. Oh man, this is... Gonna be oh this is gonna be one exciting mystery box. Well, mystery bag, because we got a whole pin bag, a brand new pin, pin trader bag. Oh, the corner is unzipped. Because I've put oh, because Shannon poked her fingers in there. I didn't look, I just felt it. Well, okay. <laughs> Okay, hello. This is this is getting oh, stressful. No, 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 no. Oh no. Why are we saying no, oh no? No, 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 no. That is not what we wanted to see. No. No. Yeah, so there is a bunch of the Disney Resort pins on that first page. So these ones I mean, I'm, they're hot too. They're cute. They're cute, but they're not what we were hoping for. And the first page, it made us a little nervous because that was a high percentage of the entire mystery bag because you can see 22 of them are gone with these Christmas ornaments. They are really beautiful pins and they do look really nice on the inside. The only issue with these is after Christmas season comes around, a lot of these end up in the Disney character warehouse. But don't get me wrong, these are really beautiful pins, especially once you flip them open. And here's the inside of the ornament pins. As you can see, there's a lot of really neat characters and a lot of really cute designs. They were really high limited edition size, so they're not anything rare or too special, which uh, we were really hoping we'd find. It's okay, $2,000 for this one. I needed him. Let's go ahead and flip to the other side. Oh, 
Oh, oh okay. I mean, okay, uh, there's snow globes. The trees are pretty. Oh my god. Look at the stitch. Oh, okay. Please don't be all Christmas pins. Okay, there's a, a whole page of nightmare. Oh, I did see someone who got the uh, that uh, gingerbread castle earlier. I like that one. Very cool. <laughs> Look at all the Small World characters on there. Small World is always really popular, so it was nice that we got so many from that Small World set right there. And even this one up here with the Mickey and Minnie gingerbread. Uh, I believe it's a gingerbread Small World. That's one that we were very jealous of seeing someone else who found that on the pin board. So it's really nice that we now have one of our own. And at the bottom, look at this. We found some Nightmare Before Christmas pins. This looks to be a complete set of tarot cards from the Haunted Mansion Holiday. And there was even a Nightmare Merry Christmas jumbo pin. And this was a really nice one because look at his spinner wheel. We are Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Very jolly. And Hanukkah. All those are Don't awesome forget about the Hanukkah one. <laughs> oh. Those are on the boards. The next page is full of a bunch of miscellaneous holiday pins. They're all so pretty. I love the little cute snowmen characters. They look like they're like puffy. The Jack Snowman, I actually saw twice on the pin board and I almost traded for him. So I'm kind of glad I didn't because I got him in the book. There's a bunch of really pretty wreaths from the Very Merry Christmas Party. Some of these pins you might notice that the colors are a little off, but that's because they might be pre-production. Pre-production pins and artist proofs are actually kind of more sought after because they're more rare, so that actually makes these pins kind of epic. Those are all on the board. Yeah, I kept seeing that one. Is that, is that, okay, all right. Last is this one? the last page? Christmas sweat. And hiding for us on the final page was the Christmas sweater mystery box pins. <laughs> Score! All right, well. <laughs> Those were some expensive Christmas pins. <laughs> I mean, they're worth at least the price we paid. I know, because we're all like, what? Yeah, we know we were really hoping for like the kind of stuff that we would see on the pin boards, but they, I mean. Why was the advertising Christmas? No, it should have been a Christmas mystery. I don't know why they made it a mystery. Someone would have bought it if it was advertised as holiday. So why didn't they advertise it as holiday? Right? I'm like, maybe it did say Christmas. <laughs> maybe it did. Let me see if that was. Aren't you guys glad that you got to see what was inside? Yeah, so now. <laughs> the suspense all day. <laughs> oh, man. You can decide if you want to purchase it next year, huh? We'll have an awesome Ooh. Christmas show this year. <laughs> Exciting mystery bag. All right, well. Hey, I got a car spin. You got a car spin? We be one. There was a car spin indeed. All right, Adriel wants to go take a look at our uh, amazing mystery bag we got here. So this is the $2,000 mystery bag that had 96 pins in it. You're welcome to flip through and uh, give me give me your thoughts. Yeah, there it is. Oh, jeez, is, is right. Man. That's, oh my god, yeah. So when did you start collecting Christmas pins? Uh, since um, uh, 4 o'clock today. Okay. I don't know, you might be able to find some of these pins uh, over in uh, Pin HQ, a yeah. really cool uh, local pin store. Yeah, for sure. I mean, but yeah, come check us out and then come check him out. He's Nick is your one-stop pin for Christmas. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, no, I, I'd never seen Disney do a blind bag like that before, no. so we, we had to answer. Yeah, so the value's there, so I, I'm happy in that sense. Yeah. I was just hoping there would be something like, you know, exciting, something that would, you a, know. A cat nap. I, yeah, 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 you're just yeah. throwing a cat now. I was feeling they went to cast connection. Yeah, yeah, this is the, the character <laughs> warehouse mystery box. The first page of the Yeah, they had a $50 dollars gift card. <laughs> Yeah, no, and, the, and then there was like some nice nightmare pins on the inside. Yeah, I was kind of hoping they would might have a little bit more diverse uh, pins on the inside. So, uh, I do like the nightmare some, but, set. Yeah, no, the like nightmare this. stuff was really cool though. Like uh, this set here, this is pretty cool. And it almost looks like it's the, the complete set. And the small world, small world is always really popular. So that that's a nice one. And of course that gingerbread castle, which I, I did see someone get off the pin board and I was a little jealous of them. So now we got our own gingerbread castle there. Nice. That's so good. You didn't have to wait two hours for it. Yeah. Okay, well, although the book didn't have a whole lot of what we were really hoping for, it was really awesome how we were the ones who were able to get that mystery box because then we were able to share it with all of you guys because I know everyone really yeah. wanted to see what was hiding on the inside. And well, there's your answer. It was a bunch of Christmas pins hiding on the inside. So. It feels like Christmas morning. There were a lot of Christmas pins I actually really like in there. I'm going to add them to my board. And there was a... That 
that gingerbread one, I saw somebody trade for it on the board. And I was like, I want that one. Well, and then it go. was in the book. I was like, now we got a gingerbread castle. So it's very nice that we were able to get those. It's a win for the pin people because now we all get to know what was in the book. I know. I would have <laughs> been so upset never knowing what was hiding on the inside of all that right. book. And we would have never known. It was a whole book of a Christmas mystery. Bin. But honestly, if Disney does ever, if Disney ever does end up doing another blind bag at the at the next event, we will still enter. I'm still going for oh, yeah. it. So bring it on. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave us a like down below. Uh, but other than that, that's gonna be all for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and uh, we'll Have see you guys again soon. Day.